born, so you, you've met Julian uh, for a very long time, since, since 2010. He stayed at your home, and then you you saw, I mean, you've been following his case ever since. I mean, yes. how, how is he now? I, I'm very worried about Julian's health. Um, I'm worried about the strain on him. Um, he's on some level of incarceration now, um, well, really, since 2010. Um, I think the pressure on him is, is enormous. I think the sense that he's not receiving a fair trial and the sense of injustice. Um, he's been kept in solitary confinement for far, far too long now. Um, I think this is what really worries me, is, is the effect it's having on him personally. Um, I think he, he, he overwhelmingly feels um, a sense of injustice uh, for somebody who gets out of bed every morning, or that's what he did, um, feeling he was doing a public service. Um, I think it's a terrible thing to have to bear. So I'm very concerned about him personally. I'm also very concerned about the way um, sort of uh, yeah, charges have arisen without um, his, his lawyers being able to really prepare for um, the sort of hidden indictments that go a really problem. Um, what also worries me is uh, in prison during lockdown, uh, during the COVID crisis, he hasn't had proper access to his lawyers. He hasn't got proper access to a telephone. Um, he complained about this. He, he phoned me a couple of months ago and he complained about uh, the difficulty he had in trying to um, follow the news about his case, um, can you communicate with his lawyers. And of course that goes back to the, uh, the, the way a Spanish contractor was actually spying on him and his lawyers in the Ecuadorian embassy. So there seem to me to be so many irregularities with the way these things are, uh, are conducted that you do have to wonder whether uh, there's one rule for Julia uh, and, and people who challenge governments to the extent he has and another rule for ourselves. And I think that's fundamental flaw in the way we, we all believe our justice system should be run. You, you were a witness uh, to the kind of inside of workings of, of WikiLeaks. Yes. Um, are you worried that, as a journalist about the precedent that is being set with this case? Oh, 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 absolutely. I think too few journalists have woken up to the fact um, that this really is uh, the, the sort of freedom of speech. It is. It is the case of our times relating to uh, the ability of journalists to report on, on, on things that governments don't want to, to hear. And if our job is to uh, uh, try and establish, try and hold uh, power to account, um, if Julian is sent to America, uh, then uh, the implications for uh, newspapers and other journalists are absolutely immense. Um, it's terrifying. Thank you very much, Juan.